Hi, my name is Daryl Golar, and I'm here with Daniel Marias, and he's a, he's a two-time uh, Jiu-Jitsu World Champion. I'm a three-time United States National Wrestling Champion, greco Roman, and I've won some junior freestyle championships. And this tape is not like the other tapes you've seen for doing double legs and single legs. Primarily what I'm showing here are just basically the core takedowns for ring fighting, cage fighting, no holds barred fighting. I mean, you can do double legs, you can do single legs, but there really are only a few that work, I believe, in the octagon and in the ring. Because the ones I've been showing here at Top Team, we've been very successful with doing, doing just these couple of few. So I'm basically showing from different distances. I know a lot of people like to do single legs and double legs. They like to be out here boxing, going in for them. Some people like to do them in close. Some people like to do them in from the clinch. Some people would like to be able to do double legs from here or from here or from the clinch, and they don't know how. So that's what this tape is for. And even against the cage, we have guys, we got them over here, we we'll against the cage, and right here, they don't know what to do. Here, you can still do those same two basic takedowns. And honestly, there's only a couple ways to do them. And that's what this tape is going to show you today. Okay, the first thing I'm going to start with is the double leg takedown. The reason I'm going to start with that is because basically in the no holds barred fighting, the double leg is a freebie. You remember when wrestlers first started uh, in the octagon? The thing they were doing that was shocking everybody was coming out shooting double legs. Because if I come out in the wrestling match and the guy's standing like basically like this, he's giving me a freebie. It's almost like if I come out the wrestling, I'm much like this, this guy like this, I'm going to do a double leg because he's giving it to me. Same thing in the part of fighting. We, the wrestlers came into the octagon and into the, uh, the ring, and guys were like this. They go, wow, look at this leg. It's a freebie. So the thing about the, the, uh, the double leg takedown is not just charging right into the leg. The thing I want to do is I'm right here. I'm ready to box and protect my chin. I want to change levels first. And we change levels by doing right here. Okay? I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. I'm going straight down so I can see. When I do a double leg, I want to see him at all times. If he moves, if he goes to kick me, I want to be able to, to, be able to go down. And also, if I, if I get in a little trouble, I want to be able to come out. If I'm just doing this, I can't. I can't see what happens. I'm doing like this, I'm getting neat and everything else. But from right here, and I change levels, and then I go straight in, knee dragging this leg to here, pulling to right here, I'm fine. Okay? From right here, if the guy, if he falls down, I need to take down, fine. But if he falls right here, what I want to do is I want to drive this way. I want to use my head tight against his hip. And I'm going to pick this leg up and just drive. It's right here. Okay? From right here, the thing I want to do is I just want to drive and take him down. Right here. Okay? Then I cover and punch. Okay. The double leg is important because it's the only place, the only way if I, that I can get this body from outside. If he's in the stands like this, I can do a sweet single leg. But first off, let's do the double leg. And the most important thing is, like I said, changing levels and then penetrate. So once I change levels, I'm just dropping it here. And I'm doing this quite rapidly too. That's what makes the double leg faster. Some guys just do a double leg. You can't, you can't just do this to make it fast. What makes a double leg fast is how fast you drop. It's because once I drop, he can't drop faster than I drop. So I'm right here. First thing I'm going to do is just change levels by just dropping here. Dropping in, then I penetrate, push in with this leg. From here, right here. And from right here, look where my leg is. I'm not here. From right here, I have no power. I'm not way out here because here I have no power to go that way either. I'm not here because right here I can only push back this way and if he, he falls, I'm in trouble. I have no place to go. So from right here, the thing I want to do is land right here and then go straight this way. Push. Stride. And cover. From there. Okay, the thing we're doing here is once we change levels and we penetrate, it's very important that we hit him at the knee, here. Not here, not at the thigh. He's too strong at the thigh. I can't get a takedown if I hit here. I mean, it's possible that I can, but it's more possible that I can break him right here. Look where he goes if I hit both knees. And I don't want to hit with a flat hand with a slap either. I'm not slapping. I'm not going like this. I'm like almost like karate chopping. I'm going here, like this, down in an angle, right here. That's where I shoot my double leg. He's right here. Once I drop, change levels. Penetrate, I'm here. From right here, I'm chopping right here. This keeps me from keeps the sprawl a little bit less. So from right here, I drive off of this leg. I'm driving this way. So using my head tight to his body. So I'm going here. Right here, I'm holding his leg. To here. Then I cover.
right, another important thing about the double leg is, say I do shoot and he does crawl. If I shoot, I'm dropping in right here, drop in, and he crawls. I'm coming in for the double leg, and he crawls. Okay. The first thing I want to do is I want to keep my head out. Sometimes your head will be in. It'll be right here. So the most important thing from here is to try to pop your head out and bring your leg up to here. From here, I do the same thing I did on my, on my feet. I drive with my head, using my head tight to the block to here. Okay, once you shoot a double leg and say the guy does fall, that doesn't mean that the move is over. If you shoot a double leg, the thing you have to do is you keep driving. You never just shoot a double leg and stop in a position like this. If you watch the fight when Mark Kerr fought, um, he fought the, uh, Mark, Mark Kerr fought, Mark Kerr's last fight in Pride, when he shot it, that's what got him in trouble. He shot it on, uh, on Heath Herring. He shot the double leg, and he just sat here. When he sat here, Heath was able to kick him in the in his head a couple times. But if, he, if the guy's down on his knees, and say I sprawl in, if I just sit in here like this and don't move, he can hit me in the head. That's why I tell my guys, when, I'm, when you shoot in right here, the first thing you do, the most important thing you do, is you drive and you keep driving. You start pushing. You don't stop. You keep moving, you keep moving, and you try to pop your head out. When Mark Kerr shot in, he stayed right here and left his head in. He got knee with this knee right here. Boom. A couple few good times and it was over. So the thing I want to do, even if, I, if my head is still propped up under, I still want to keep driving. If I keep driving, you can't knee. Drive, 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 pop my head out. Once my head is out, I keep it tight to his hip, I bring my leg up. I have to bring it to here. The see you can do, just bring it right up, and from right here, I'm looking up the ceiling. Am I looking down? I'm trying to look, I'm looking up as high as I can. If I can see the ceiling, that's even better. Because I'm bullying my neck. The higher I look, the more strong, the stronger my neck is. So from here, I just drive. Using both hands, still karate chops in here, pulling them in, and I just drive. Okay? The important thing with this is, if you notice, I'm not really using my arms to pull in. I'm using my knees to drive. I'm just using my arms to control. I'm right here. Just using my arms to control. I'm not trying to pull them in. That's impossible. His legs are too strong. You don't want to do that. Only thing you want to do is keep right in here and just drive. And keep moving, keep moving, keep moving to here and dump them over. Okay? And also with the, with the double leg, say I shoot in and I can't, I can't get my head out. Sometimes you can't. If you saw when uh, Mario Sperry fought uh, Igor Bochanchin, what he did was he couldn't get his head out from the uh, double leg. So what he did was he kept driving, he switched off to a single leg. So that's what we're going to do now. I'm going to shoot in the double leg, it's going to sprawl, I'm going to change off to a single leg if I can't get my head out. So I'm right here, we're fighting, I'm changing levels quickly, I'm coming into the double leg, he sprawls. My head is caught under. From right here, I don't. I keep moving forward, keep moving forward, keep moving. And I take this hand right here and I plant it. It's important that I plant this hand because if I plant, if I don't plant this hand, he can keep moving. So I plant that hand right here so my opponent can't move anymore. And then what I do is I reach across, I grab my own wrist on this side. So basically, where I'm in here right now is I'm under here with this hand on the mat. This hand right here, I'm grabbing my own wrist. So he's right here. I'm on the. I take this hand on the mat. I grab my own wrist. Now I want to tripod up. It's very important that I tripod right here. I have to. Now what I want to do is I want to use this shoulder, drive my shoulder right here into his thigh. Okay? From right here, a circle, drive my shoulder into his thigh, break him down to here. Then I cover. Okay? So we'll do that one more time. Okay. He's right here. When I shoot the double leg, he's going to fall on my head and be caught under. So I just plant. I keep driving, I drive, and I plant. I'm coming around. Say he stands up. And I get ready to start to stand. I just come up with him. I come up with him. Okay? And then cover again. Okay, let's 